Um, this is the living room. Hello, family. Morning, y'all. It's presentation day. We have hit the 25,000. Well done, you. 25,000 pounds in a week. That money was in your pockets. It's now going to go to Children's Hospice Southwest and help some families and kids who severely need it. And I'm hoping it won't really have much of an effect on your pockets. Thank you for your generosity. Unbelievable effort, you lot. I've escaped into town. The house is a little bit mental. Oh, four weeks of complete hell. Here here we go. So we're going to look at a swing today. Um, it's a classic kind of looks like a hit down swing left kind of action. This player looks like he's going to cut the ball off to the right. Backswing is fine for now. It looks fine. What we're going to do is deal with the way he wants to change direction on the way down. He wants to stack the shaft up a little bit on the way down. Also, the fact that he can hit a shot with that T there. See that tee short right. The fact that he can hit a shot, I wouldn't be able to hit a shot with that tee there very easily because it would be in my way. Someone who's going to be coming from low to high to hit the ball. So we're going to talk about trying to kind of remove the rewards for swinging this way. Let's show you what I mean. Let's go and get a coffee. Someone's going to make me one this morning. Just popping in to see the boys at good old Clifton Mile. I'm at Torquay now, doing the rounds. So let's talk about rewards for doing what you're doing. Think about it, if you're gonna hit a ball where a face is open to a path, so pointing right at whatever path your club is swinging on, it would be disastrous for you to swing on a zero path because the ball would start right and curve further right. It would be disastrous for you to swing from an inside path because your face is open to this path so it'd start right and go further right so the reward for having the face open to the path is to do what you do if i had a swing where my face was open to the path i would also make your move feeling like i'm gonna swing hard left so we need to take that reward away so when i say reward what i mean is it's going to reward you with some target shots because the matchups will balance and you'll cut the ball onto target. But if you were to make swings where the face is always closed to the path of delivery, there would be zero reward for swinging on your club path. So if you were to take the club back and start flattening lead wrist as hard as you can, start your downswing by flattening lead wrist and so really feel like your wrist was moving this way throughout your action. So on the way back, you start taking this angle out and you keep it out for as long as you can. The reward for hitting on the direction you're hitting on is zero because the ball goes low left because your face is now closed to a path path let's say seven left face closed to that so left of that ball's going to start left and curve further left and you're probably going to sacrifice all your loft so first thing to stop rewarding you for the path you swing on is to get the face to work very differently flattening lead wrist really feel like you're bowing throughout the whole swing, backswing and downswing as much as you can. And the common question when I do these videos, do this, is when should I do it? You should do it throughout your whole swing. You should try somewhere where you get to the top and you feel like you start putting it in. You should do somewhere you feel like you just do it on the way back. Because for each student, it's different. I don't care when you feel you do it. As long as you get the face close to the path at delivery, then the reward for swinging where you want to at the moment disappears. And what I find with lots of students as I do this, even though they can't articulate it, they work that out pretty quick and their path changes, just changes. And I say to them, look, we haven't talked about your club path, have we? But look, it's gone from out to in to in to out because you've reacted to the way the face of the path is now working. And they're like, wow, you know, I've tried to hit from the inside for years. Well, the face is open to the path, hitting from the inside would be the worst thing you could do. Right, we're going to pick our first winner. Dan Hendrickson's going to pick I'm the first pick your winner. winner. So we're going to go, this is for one of the five pairs of UA golf shoes. Spieth 2 golf shoes, Dan. Nice shoes. Gore-Tex, lovely. So what Dan's going to do, he's got my app, we're signed in, he's going to scroll through all the winners, not looking randomly, I'll say stop looking the other way, you read that name and then we'll message them. Okie dokie. Are you ready? Are you spinning? I am now no spinning. Don't look at the names, don't look. Right, here we go, stop. John Simpson. John Simpson, John congratulations, Simpson. you are getting an email. So we're gonna message John Simpson now, you've won the first pair of Spieth 2 golf shoes. Thank you for donating, and well done. 
Right, tip number two, this man. Um, this player hits out to win. Yep. Face over to the path. We've given him something that hopefully can change his face to path. Yes. So in those wrist angles that we talked about earlier. His ball will tend to start low left with the way he wants to hit it. Okay, yeah. Okay, so he swings like 10 left, say, and the face is three open to that path, or seven open to that path, yeah. the ball starts a little left. He hits, he looks, and I don't know, but he looks like he hits down. So if you're one of these people, it's a common pattern when they hit yeah. from out to in that they are hitting down as well, which we'll talk about up and downs later. I'm gonna do something to take away your reward of that ball starting low left. <laughs> I do this with students so often. I put something in their way and see if they can work out how to not hit it, yet still hit target. If you think about get up Dan, so this player obviously hits down and left with a face pointing this way, but it's open to the path. This would encourage him not to do that and maybe get him to make some different moves on the way down yeah. straight away without even trying to think too technically. Mm. If you think about get up Dan, I mean, you could put that there. Get over that. And ask you to get over that. Obviously, if it's going to hurt your rebound, I wouldn't do it. But just taking the reward away. Yeah. for their movements that we want to change just makes them self-discover, which is kind of so powerful. So Dan tends to do a little draw. So I don't reckon that bothers you that much, does it? Not at all, no. Thanks. Let's see it then. Not at all. I'm Not just, at all. I'm just moving back a little. So you could see that started right at the bag. It was around the height of it, so it would hit it. So for you at home, you get those wrist angles working, and then in turn, get something down on this left side, the wrist angles, that in the way, the reward for swinging down into your left. Well, there's no reward. It's actually a danger. It'll make you change that path. We'll do more on this later, but you'll be amazed how much this drill just changes people like having two or three shots. Oh my God, it's so cold. We're playing golf tomorrow, weather permitting. Uh, next to the sea. I can't even imagine how cold that's gonna be. <laughs> right, time to go home and see what's going on in the madhouse. Can they see me? They <laughs> <laughs> can see you, yeah. You can see it on the screen, it can see you. It's presentation day, everybody. Oh, uh, what did that mean? So everyone, you know all the money we've been raising for the yeah. children? And everyone's, I'm a child. you are, but you're luckily I not as in. ill as, correct, yeah. Um, you've got a chance to win. So Dan has picked one of the winners today, and now you're gonna pick a winner each. <laughs> right, Vanilla, you choose first. You start scrolling, all I say stop. stop. When you stopped, you stopped already. Who have Rob we got? Rob Ward. Rob Ward. Let's message Rob Ward. Rob Ward, you have won Speef 2 Golf Shoes, congrats. Yay. Message sent to Rob. Scroll, Orla, when you're ready. Stop. Here we got Martin Gibb. Martin Gibb, speak two shoes, third pair given away. Martin Gibb, message. Scroll, Orla. When you're ready, Milo. Stop. Right, Orla has chosen Andrew Morrison. Andrew Morrison. So that is the fourth pair of speak. Two golf shoes. Andrew Morrison emailed. Right, I'm gonna do the fifth speed shoe. Someone say stop. Stop! Everyone said stop. Paul Walker! Paul Walker! Messaging now. You've won the fifth pair of speed shoes. So I am messaging you through the giveeverydayhero.com website. So go on there and have a look if you've got your message. I presume. It sends you an email as well because obviously you put an email when you send in. But thank you all for donating. What do we say for the people who donated? Thank you. Absolutely. So, yeah. Right, the last idea I want you to try. So, if wrist angles is getting it a little bit and then putting something in your way is maybe helping it a little bit more. This one really helps golfers. So, I want you to try and chuck some angles away and in a direction. So from the top of your back swing, once you've started to try and flatten your lead wrist, I want you to feel like you throw the angles away, basically into the corner. See where I'm throwing it? In the corner of this room, which is the corner of your viewfinder. Let's not stack the shaft. I want you to feel like you're chucking the angles away. So what lots of people have referred to in the past as casting. Yeah, this way. If we're gonna get all technical about it, 
Lots of good players I measure on 3D systems have next to no radial deviation. So this way, they're either kind of neutral, tiny bit of radial, which is hinging up, and lots are in ulna at the top of their backswing. And also, when people start their downswing, good players measured, they start getting their wrist to flex this way into ulna pretty early. So they're trying to prepare for impact because when you hit the ball, your wrist is going to be bent down this way. Ulna, deviation. So by trying to get a player to chuck those angles away as they start the downswing, it does a few things. It gets the club down to the ground earlier, which makes it easier for them to think about hitting up. If you get them to do it in the corner of this room, so up here, their club paths instantly change. Their relationship between sweet spot of the head and hands instantly change, they stop stacking shafts up. The idea scares them, they think of the word casting. Um, this is why I have a massive hate for the term lag, I have a massive hate how lag has been taught over the years and still is being taught on, on lots of mainstreams, those kind of things. It really does honestly hurt a lot of golfers. This is a great way to change how you deliver your club to the golf ball and start hitting some better shots. Um, that was my office. It's gone. So we're picking the winner of the MP5s. Okay. Mrs. Barfield's gonna say stop. So we have winners. Whenever you're ready, you shall stop. Stop. Kevin McDonald. You have won the Mizuno MP5s. Thank you for your donation. What an amazing two weeks. I've the kettle on with the bacon of all things. Can't say thank you enough. Message me if I've messaged you to give us an email on the address I've given you there, letting me know your addresses so we can get those prizes sent out. See you all tomorrow, playing golf tomorrow with the gang. It's gonna be freezing, a lot of fun though, but that means I don't know when the daily vlog will post tomorrow because we'll be traveling and all those kind of things. We are doing one. I've got a fun idea in my head, so yeah, it'll be a good one. It'll, it'll be a good one. See you tomorrow.